Hello Tinkerers and welcome to the basics. Hopefully we've got a bit familiar with Tinkercad, but if you're not, then we're going to go through some basic steps to make ourselves a nice keyring today. So we're going to use our basic shapes, they're down on the right hand side, and we're obviously going to bring them onto a work plane to build with. So thinking about a keyring, with a nameplate we want a nice big box, and then we want to have a piece of plastic that's going to hopefully attach our keys. So what shapes could we use? Well, just as I said, we're going to start with a nice box. We'll bring that across to one side of the plane, and then we'll go looking for another shape to attach our keys. And just down here, you'll find a torus. Torus is a nice donut shape, or you could use a tube. Now, both of these have their advantages and disadvantages. Torus is a nice, beautiful shape, nice donut-y, nice and rounded. And the tube has this nice flat top, bit more hard on the edges, but... I personally prefer the tube. The reason I prefer the tube is because I'm going to hopefully print off my wonderful keyring creation. And with that, it has a nice flat bottom and a flat top. And what that allows is a really nice clean print when I'm going to a 3D printer. It gives a nice clean surface to print on. Whereas if you do the donut, sometimes if you don't get a clean edge to it or you have it slightly floating up above the plate, then it won't be a really nice clean print. But anything you do with a torus, you could also do with a tube. I'm going to use a tube today, so first off, I'm going to get rid of that torus. But anything I do with the tube, you could also do with a torus. So let's make a nice big plate for my name to go on. And I make that nice and big. Well, I'll take it 35 wide and make it nice about 90 deep. There we go. 35 wide, 90 deep. And then let's take that down. I want, don't want a giant thick queuing, do I, today? So let's bring that right down to 5. Nice and easy there. Now my keys and my tube don't really match up. They don't really go together. So first things first, I probably want to make my tube five height. So bring that down, five height. I could just click on it and then I could go to the number, click on that and click on five and it automatically do it for me. There's no way. And there you go, I could start fitting it on. I could put my key ring here. I could put it across here. I could put it on the edge. I could put it on the top if I really want to do. It looks a bit small at the moment. Let's make it the same size and width. So as we remembered, that is 35. So there's a couple of ways I can do this. Obviously, I could just try and extend it out and turn it into an oval. I could hold shift and that would make it go the same uh, width and diameter on both directions at both the same time, what could help out. Or I could just start with that and then I could click on here and go, I want it 35 that way and I want it 35 that way. And that makes a nice circle. And then here we go, we've got it nicely fitted in. I could try and fit it in better, or I could hold shift, click on both, and that selects both, or I could click on the red, make a nice big red circle uh, square over both of them, and that also selects both. And then I can go up to the line, and I could align it in the middle here, but I'd put it in the middle. I don't want to do that. So I want to align it so each one is up and down, so it's nicely perfectly in the middle, and then I could move it in, I could either move it in by clicking on it and using the arrow keys. I could click in and hold shift and then it will go only down one axis of movement. So it'll go down here. Yeah. Or I could just try and eyeball it up. But the problem is with that and it does go off. So let's, if I don't want to put it there and I make a mistake, then I can always go up to undo. I could press control Z or I could just click up here, undo. And I'll just move it in with my arrows and make it nice and smooth. So I've got a nice edge. So then I've got a nice clean edge here and a clean edge above and it's nice round queuing at the edge. I'm not saying you have to put it there, you could put it on either end, you could put it on the corner here, you could put it on top, but I do really like a nice clean edge and if I've got it in, just go back, go to undo and it puts it in perfectly aligned. It's nice and flat on the bottom, nice and flat on top and then I've got my basic shape of my queuing. Now what else could I do? Well I want my name on my queuings if I lose my key, so across here I've got some text. Here's my text to bring them on. And here it is, my text. Oh, I want my name on my queuing. Let's call myself Bob today. B-O-B. -B. Type it in. Off it goes. B-O-B. -B. Here we go. Bob. Nice and now. Now how thick is that? Let's click on it. And that's 10 thickness. So if I was to move that across, it would be five, sticking out by five parts. So let's move it in. Now... These bits are going to go off and around, and I could try and eyeball it in, or 
what I could do with these two objects, first off, I wanted to probably group these two objects together because they I'm happy with. I am happy with them objects. So let's just go up to the top right hand corner. Up here, you've got group. Let's group them together. And they become one object now. They're set. And I'm quite happy with that. They're set. And then I can bring in Bob. Let's change Bob to a different color just so it's nice and clear. Up there, bring in Bob. And then I want to align it so it's a top and bottom. But the thing is, first I probably want to get it a right size. So I can bring that. A bit of eyeballing. Here we go. I've got Bob. Nice and thing. Click hold. Bring over the red square over rectangle over both of them. And there we go. I've selected them both. And then I could align them. Go up to my align tool. And let's let me come nice and aligned there. And oh, that's going to put it too far across that way. So if I've got it too far across that way, but I want to keep it on my axis, I could hold shift or use the arrow keys and bring it back to a nice middle. And there you go. I've got Bob on my keyring. What I could also do is now it's entirely up to you, Tinkerers. I've got my basic keyring. And that's beautiful to print off. I've got my name on my keyring. Thing is, I could start messing around with it. I could start putting extra shapes in. I could put a nice little shape in the middle of Bob. This is where your imagination kind of can grow and change however you want. I could start doing that. What I could also do is a little technique. And if I don't like my Bob sticking out, I would have to, I could turn it into a hole. And then therefore, if I look at that, select them both, group it together and it'll come up nicely. I've got Bob. Thing is, it's cut all the way through. So if I was to print that, these bits would fall out. Well, I don't want that. Well, how can I stop that? What I can do is take Bob, take the text, just the text, and then I could get this little arrow and move him up above the ground. Now, you see how it's growing? This is my number, how thick it is. So think about it, it's five thickness. So that would be indented two. Because at the end of the day, I've moved it away from the uh, work plane three parts so if i do that now and take it all together and then group it second and there you go it's just cut out the word bob and it's indented it just slightly and beautifully and that looks a lot nicer doesn't it i could try and put a board around it how could i put a board around it well i could get another box and put a trim around the outside but this is really up to you, how you build it and how you change it from this point onwards. I've hopefully given you some nice ideas. I could start trying to just decorate my uh, characters. I could do my middle name really small because my middle name is only Smith. I always like Smith. Smith could be my end name. Here we go. I could put Smith on. So with Smith, I could make it really, really quite small. I could bring it across. Whoops, a daisy. If I make a mistake, just go to undo. I could bring it across. I could twist it round. Let's make it a different color so it stands out. Here we go. Make it yellow. It's nice and easy. Remember, whatever filament you put in the 3D printer is what color it's going to come out. So you don't need to really worry too much about your colors on here. So I could shift, twist it. So what I do is I go to this arrow and I click and I can move it around a little bit at a time or I could hold shift and then it moves 45 degrees. So grab it, hold shift and spin it around. Oh, did I miss that? Here we go. Hold. Hold shift, move it 45 degrees. And then I've got it in there. I could make it slightly smaller. I want to make it slightly smaller. I can just click on that. I want it by six and I'll take that down to 17. There we go. Get that nicely in the middle. I could bring it off to see how far it is off the ground. So it was the same as the other one. It's free off the ground. Turn it into a hole. Bring it all together. Group it. And there you go, I've got Bob Smith, my keyring, all my own design. Hopefully I've given you some ideas. If you've got some great ideas, please post them on the chat below. And I look forward to seeing some of your wonderful creations.